chronic by the truth. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. To the honeys getting money, playing fellas like dummies. Uh. You got a gun up in your waist, please don't shoot up the place. 1995, Big Papa was released. Two years later, Patrick Merlot was drafted to the San Jose Sharks. That same year, Austin Matthews was born. This is not a coincidence, people. This is a man who can grow a beard. This is a man who can score more than 20 goals in a season. This is a man who can laugh at this photo with the rest of us. And then there's the money. Big whoop. Matthews, Marner, and Nylander are all on entry-level contracts. They went into the summer with over $20 million in cap space. They're not giving up any of the future, so why is everyone worried about cap flexibility? Take Matthews and then say, Marlowe on the way. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. I pray he calls him Big Papa in the locker room. More good. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm an emotional person in general, but Kyle Lowry's article titled Home in the Players' Tribune made me cry harder than Terrell Owens after a big loss. Now, I don't know if it's because it was Canada's 150th birthday that I'm just feeling so savvy about this, but seeing players like Lowry and Serge Ibaka wanting to return to Canada just makes me so happy. <laughs> As for Lowry, three years, a hundred million dollars, doesn't seem so bad. Bad. Carey Price has been signed to an eight-year deal with the Montreal Canadiens. Wait, isn't that good? Many hockey fans would argue that he's the best goaltender of our era. Most would argue that he is the Montreal Canadiens. Either way, he'd better be with 14% of the cap space, relying on him alone. This week's ugly is so bad, it's horrendous. We're talking about the Toronto Blue Jays, uh, right? Okay, Canada Day, I went to that game, scalped a ticket, alone, brought a Mountie mug, had some beers with the rest of Canada's team, and you know what? It was a good time, but they lost 7-1. A little bit of damper on the mood. Afterwards, Chris Sale was all, yeah, gets fun when we really get going. Sales struck out Donaldson four straight times. Eleven total. And the ugliest of the ugly, the cherry on top, Sunday's 15 to 1 loss. Mm, when does hockey start? <laughs> and then yesterday's loss. But I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell, I know. What? Ten games off the lead? But does that really matter if this exists? I miss Toronto, my favorite place. I don't forget Toronto. Every day, Toronto, my heart inside, my heart, Toronto. He's the best now. You know what else is the best? Well, mediocre at best. My new podcast coming up soon. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys.